what this is going to do to this program and to the community is, is without words at this point. Uh, we're all pretty much in awe of what's coming. How much did you know about the process and how much were you involved in it as it was you know, coming through? Well, the design, the actual design uh, probably was turned over from my staff 18 months ago. Our dream list, you know, Oliver Lux sat me down when he first arrived. We'd come off a few good years cross country and track at that point and he said, listen, give me five years. I need some other sports to catch up and we need some other sports around to, to get, get some things better with regards to facilities. I promise you, give me five years and you know, here we are five or six years later and this is a reality. It's, it's unbelievable. So the, the nine lane, the, the dual runways, the, the making sure we have clocks in the places to turn, turn, turn you know, the, the sprinters around on a, on a meet are all the things required to host an NCAA regional and a Big 12 championship. So we shot for the moon and, and everybody that stood before us today has just worked their butts off to, to make sure this is going to happen. Now when this is built, you know, there hasn't been an NCAA regional north of North Carolina uh, in 10 or 12 years. George Mason hosted it 10 or 12 years ago. And um, when this comes to fruition, this is the type of thing that WV should be applying for and, and asking to host. So with the, with the people that work this hard to make this happen, I can't imagine we can't pull off something that big.